to my channel. My God, conversations at home. Welcome to an unboxing of uh, Jackalope Junction. Now, sorry, wait. No, he's not. I'm trying to get rid of the stupid red box on my screen because it's a bit distracting for me, but it's not working. Oh well. Anyway, plastic. Just to prove, kind of, I've just opened it really. Uh, ooh. <laughs> I think the drills are somewhere in the middle. Um, let's get into this. Sorry, I meant to tell you. It's square. It's got the blue line. And sorry, my camera is doing its trippy biz. All right, let's get in. Jackalope Junction is Sheena Pike. Now, I have, every time I talk about the Jackalope, have the movie from Pixar, the short, sorry, from Pixar rattling through my head okay so i'm going to put the link into the video there's a couple of these on youtube um that you can check out but the video is called bounden it's four and a half minutes four and three quarter minutes it's um the story of the jackalope and it was on the short for the incredibles if you have that on dvd you can go and get a legitimate copy um, and have a look at it but i Seriously, go look at it. It's awesome. Um, I don't know who the narrator is, but it's it's all kinds of fun. The music is just kind of like, you know, I don't know, um, just perfect for the poem. Anyway, all right. Nine step instructions. If you're giving this to somebody new, give them that. It has got a 10% code in it. Anyway, let's get into turning this around. All right, so yeah, this is by Sheena Pike. It's all kinds of weird and yeah, it makes me think of the movie every single time. So I'm gonna get this just to relax a bit. So we're gonna pull it back. And that will allow it just to flatten for me. You don't necessarily need to do that. I also store it flat in a notebook. These can go on the ends, as I've shown you on numerous occasions now. They can go on the end of the box if you like storing them like that. The toolkit, because this is square, has a four multiplacer, which is awesome, the skinny heads. Uh, short line drill tray, tweezers, pen, squishy, two axes and some bags. Okay, if you want to see the details of one of those kits, you'll need to look for the first video of the year on Diamond Art Club, and you can see it there. All right, let's get in. Just taking a scan of colors. There's 47 colors and it looks like just the one AB. Okay. Um, let's have a look at the picture. All right, now the drill field, oh, sorry. The drill field, as always, with Diamond Art Club is pretty good. It's kind of an understatement, to be honest. He's so cute! Look at that nose! Yeah. Okay, um, there is numerous stories on what a jackalope is, but look, you can even see his tag nice and clearly here. Um, apparently they're very scary animals. They look cute as all hell, and it's cute as all hell in Bandon too. Um, Bandon is about sheep but there is a jackalope in there. And then he's, he, what, he's got a bunny? He's got a bunny fairy. Look, he's got what, pink wings. There's a mushroom. I'm not sure how true to the story Sheena's rendition is of the jackalope. All right, now number one is 141, so it's white. So where are all of the whites? Oh, they've done a really nice job on this one. Okay, you ready? It's all of those sparkly highlights that you see in the painting over here, like here, here, right. So we've got all the bubbles are all one circle around highlighting those. We've got highlights here. So it's like an aura behind the flowers. It's an aura behind the jackalope and the horns. There's a circle over here, the stars over there, like all those sparkly bits in this corner, hang on, that corner there. All those sparkly bits are one for one. Um, I thought for a second the whiskers. Not those whiskers, but 
these whiskers. So these upper whiskers are 141. These are 141 here, but these are the Chevron, which is 712, which is like a cream off white. There's some white highlighting Bunny's ears here. Bunny butt is highlighted. The going the wrong way. The highlight around the flower on the door. Door? Is it a door? Yes, it's a door. How very strange. Okay. Um, highlights on the toadstools, the spots are white. Highlights on the blue rose down here. Highlights on the pink rose just down the bottom. Lots of whites down here in this flower too and these are all um, speckled down here lots and lots of whites so it's going to be a big bag I would think it's 56 by 71 I haven't said that already um, there is a 10% code on this which is the same as the 10% code on the um, on the leaflet all right Let's take a look at the drills. Where are we? Here we go. Ooh, two bags, ladies. All right. Seven, seven, nine, square three, eight, four, one. There's two bags of that. That would be kind of up in the background and maybe down the flowers. 3860, we have two of those, so it's a kind of, it's a pink tonal brown. 3064 is an orange brown. 3033 is a cream off-white. 904, one of those green. 913, look at that green. It's kind of like a fresh parfait kind of green. 718, which is a cerise pink. 3371, which is the brown black, black brown even. Uh, 3755, which is pale blue. Hang on. Oh, actually, no, you can see more of the drills in there as well, just in case the two cameras show you a different color. Uh, pink is 3607. 209, which is a pale pink. 208, which is a darker purple. 210, which is pale pink. Um, little bit of concaving in those drills but it should be fine on the poured glue because they will kind of sink in when you roll them and do all that kind of biz. 992 that is a green and um, it's a really interesting kind of pale jade it's nice excuse me 906 is a green there's a chunk missing out of one corner of one of those drills but the rest seem okay okay they are getting in new drills, by the way. So all these new kits that are coming in, the drills are only going to be getting better and better. 905 with the next door neighbor is green and 91, sorry, 905. And then its neighbor is 915, which is a cerise pink, which is playing next door. All right. Oh, you won't see it because it's slightly out of focus from the end of this chain. What's the big bag? Yes. 3772 is an orangey brown. Now, by the way, if I get any of my numbers mixed up, I do seem to get some kind of, I think there's a name for it. It's like a number dyslexia. I get my numbers mixed up. So I'm reading it right, but it doesn't come out of my mouth the right way around. So please excuse me. 938, it is what you see though. Um, brown. 938 is brown. 3756, which is a white with a hint of green, like an apple white kind of paint wise. I've talked about this before. 211, three of those pale pinks because it's all up in that top Where's my finger? It's all up in, in, in this corner here, in the, the, the pink, all up there. So there's lots of it. One, four, one. Oh my goodness, there's three. Wow. 
Three bags of 141. I mean, how much fun are you going to have? Seriously, there are ABs all through this painting. It's just going to shimmer and shine and be amazing. And I do really enjoy when they actually... Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the picture here. I do really enjoy when they... Um, put so much ABs throughout the picture like it's not just one little area I like it when it's kind of spread through the whole lot because it just pulls your eye through all of the painting on a little you know journey which is what art should I think do is take you on a journey through the painting and let you see more and more and more like I was saying like there's there's the toadstool behind the jackalope there's the steps going up to it there's all the flowers there's more flowers you know there's the bunny with the wings you know there's the drips of magic and all of that kind of stuff that you should keep seeing a bit like a Chuck Pinson painting there's more and there's more and there's more um, 779 is a ready brown all right okay, I'll stop talking um, but some artists will say art should take you on a journey and just like a garden should take you on its path and you shouldn't see the whole garden at one view you shouldn't with a painting either 775 is a pale green like a minty toothpastey green kind of thing you know, not what I would imagine my toothpaste to be but anyway 3864 is a pale peachy kind of color 644 is a kind of khaki kind of cream green and 3325 is a pale blue all right now the token kind of colors is what I call them as token colors these are where they don't really have enough of anything and sometimes they're the prettiest they're really but they're just scattered through 334 which is a pale blue 312 which is a navy 907 is that kind of highlighter kind of weird yellowy green 550 my favorite purple probably in that toadstool 322 is blue 310 look at that that's it 310 seriously it's a diamond art club i know it's like wow um it's no mandy manzano that's for sure um how, i think i've had one other diamond art club that actually had no 310s in it at all it was like oh my goodness yes that's a find 155 is a purple 165 is a lemon yellow that's gorgeous really really gorgeous 3608 is pink 917 is cerise pink 6.99 is dark green. 7.12 is a creamy kind of peach. It's got a little bit of a blush to it. 7.96 is a purpley blue. 3.837 is a purple. 3.819 is a yellow with a little bit of a green hint. 3.746 is a purple. 8.90 and really token colors here. You're probably going to be using maybe 10 out of all of these. They just give you so many spares. 890 is a dark green. 823, which is navy, like the black navy. Uh, 327 is purple. And 963 is pale pink. So they are very much token colours. You will not be using many of those. And you will have tons of leftovers. If you need any drill, contact Time of Art Club. They're more than willing to help. Look at those colours. That, that's gorgeous. That's a really, really nice color palette. Like a really, really nice color palette. There's so much going on. That is really going to keep you interested all the way through. Now, I just want to have a look at something. I just want to, oop, wrong, wrong icon. Um, I want to look at the color blocking for you. Okay, so color blocking. This is all one color, pretty much. There's, there's, you know, 10 there, but this is all a color block. This is a color block in the center. It's all one for ones. Be careful with your multi-placer if you're going to be doing the one for ones straight away because your wax is probably going to be clean given that it's a fairly new project so you um you might find that your abs are sticking to your wax and not coming free so maybe leave the abs until you've done the rest and then finish with your abs 
It's a bit like some people kind of going, oh, do you do 310 first with Mandy Manzana with the outlines or do you do them last? I like to do them last because then it kind of finishes that piece and it just goes bang. That's just me. But with the ABs, with the wax, yes, you do want to be using dirtier wax to get the ABs to release. These you could do with a multi-placer with a four-placer. There's three across or four across, but some of them are singles. This, you could use a much bigger head. This, you could go with a 15 and just crack it out really, really fast. If you're into multi-placing, you don't have to. Um, here, there is some colour blocking here, but there... Sorry about that. The kid, again. Um, these are smaller stretches. So again, the four placer, the seven placers, they're kind of a sweet spot for multi-placing. Um, so you've got some colour chunk here, then you've got another colour chunk here, here, you know, the peas. They're all kind of grouped together. So that's some nice colour blocking. Same with over here. You've got the sparkles in the little crosses and the bubbles. But this is all colour blocking except for those sparkles. And there's some sparkles in here. Now, it doesn't look like it, but the main colour here is 3756, which is the dot. Oh my lord. Um, these are some long lines, but this is getting into busier confetti. This is more confetti. Dad is here. He can deal with it. Don't. This is a mix of mid-size kind of colour blocking. And there's some more colour blocking. It's not disrespectful confetti, but it is getting a bit busier. So a lovely mix, like a really nice mix. Um, it's up to you how you divide up your canvas. It's square, so you can get some nice straight lines if you use the washi tape method and tear it into square sections or you just work the shapes. It's up to you. Um, but you could section it off in such a way that um, you can work on, you know, colour blocking up the top or then come down the bottom and do something else. This, I, I love this. I love Jackalope Junction. I think it's just really, really pretty. Um, testing, testing. It's doors everywhere. There's a little door in the toadstool down here to go up the stairs. And... I, I'm a, I have to say, I'm confused how he's right behind the um, the doorway it's kind of like he's almost like a garden gnome and not a real creature the jackalopes are real come on um toadstools in abundance there's these these are the fluffy plants where it's all kind of like abs right throughout um i think that's just magical absolutely gorgeous um, yes. All right. Now it is on pre available on pre-order. So if you are interested in Jackalope Junction, get ahead and um, you can order it on pre-order. It will ship at the May dates. So that's when it's expected to come in. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you are a brand new customer to Diamond Art Club and you would like to use my affiliate link, um, you have seven days in which to use it and I will get a commission. Otherwise, you can use Pippa 15 and you can get a 15% discount. Uh, anyone can use that and um, I don't get a commission on that, but you get the benefit of 15% off. There are a million other codes out there if you would like to use any other discount codes, but please make sure you use a code. There is a minimum of 10%. Most of them are 15 and then for a few new customers there are some very special ones and for other people sometimes we get 20% off if you're part of the you know diamond group or anything like that so there is always something out there to you know give back a bit um, and yes so Sheena Pike it's 47 colors it's got the 1AB it's square it's 56 by 71. If I didn't already say that, I might not have said that. 56 by 71. So it's a nice size. It's a really nice size to work on. And um, it's a beautiful, beautiful image. I am going to really, really enjoy working on that one. That would be certainly a hot favorite for me to work on. Um, I love everything about that. I wouldn't change anything, I don't think. Um, the AB scattered throughout the whole lot just kind of gives me, you know, all those warm, fuzzy feelings. All right. I'll leave you to it. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you around on the tubes. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. 
May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.